Look at this little bum. Oh, oh my God, that smells so good. I can, oh. Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is glorious. And I've got a little haul for you. I've got a random haul. I've got, I've taken everything out, but I've got a Primark haul. And I've also got some bits from Home Bargains as well. So I thought I'd go through the Home Bargain stuff first and then the Primark haul. I haven't been to Primark for ages because I find the haul shopping experience just chaotic and really stressful so i try and stay out of there but i was like it's a payday i haven't been in for a while and i want to try and get some new bits to try out and things like that so first let's talk about home bargains so the first thing is this little video here i've posted this on my instagram and um, i got two and it is the rubber face mask and who is it by it's by max brands marketing and it is a kind of a dupe for the Dr. Jart rubber shake masks. I, th I think I did a, a video or a review on those a while ago, but these are only 149. Inside you get two packets, a little spatula and some instructions and you mix it together. You get the liquid first and the dry goods and then you mix it together and you leave it for, well no you don't leave it, you put it straight on and then you leave it for 20 minutes and then you peel it off. They feel great. This one's coconut and I also got a pineapple one as well. They smell quite true to the scent um, in the pot but on the skin they don't smell like super pineapple-y and I imagine that one won't smell that company however it did leave the skin feeling amazing and it's really fun so if you are looking for a fun Valentine's Day present or a birthday present or just like a little treat then definitely pick those up because they're only $1.49 and you can't go wrong then then the next thing I got was these these are can you believe it Kate Somerville is at uh, Home Bargains, $2.99. These should have been $24.99. So we've got the Kate Somerville Skin Health Experts Anti-Aging Dermal Quench. So they're both Dermal Quench. One's a liquid, both are liquid lifts, but one is with retinol. So I didn't know what to expect when I opened it up, but I had a little cheeky look. And it's a spray. So you shake it up. I'm gonna give it a try because I've not actually used these yet. I wanna see what it looks like on the back of my hand. So see, it's a spray, ooh. Said to spray a couple times before. And it says, ooh, it smells like lavender. This one, it says to use in the PM, but I'm sure that contradicts how to use it. Cause this, yeah, this says how to use AM or PM. And this is a PM one, so that's very confusing. But you're supposed to press the, a button to dispense a small amount into the fingertips and then massage into the skin avoiding uh, contact with eyes and lips uh, retinol is a naturally yellow in is naturally yellow in color and um, but this one says to use it at night time so I wonder if the other one is for the daytime so we'll open that up but $2.99 I've recently been to TK Maxx and I found like a bigger version and um, I can't remember how much it was I will get that up as well, Treasures and TK Maxx, because I haven't done that for ages. Um, and so this one says AM and PM. So that's quite bad that the writing on the back is different to what's on the box. Um, I know with retinol, you have to be careful and you know, having been exposed, especially with all like these acids and things like that. So that's a bit strange. But again, I'm gonna spritz this on here. One, two, three. Ooh. Yeah, it's got a lovely, um, like kind of lavender smell. It feels great and it soaks in really well. So I'm going to give those a try because they were just a bit fun and I thought for 2 99 hey, 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 got to give that a go, you know. So give those a try with, because I'm really loving, as you guys probably know if you've been watching a while, but I love the Clinique uh, Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. I just use it as a face cream. So I think that'll go really well with that. So I'm just going to put that down there. So they, oh my God, it's just like silk. That just soaks in so quick. So that was everything from Home Bargains. Got those on Wednesday last week. And then I thought, you know, I've not been a super drug for a while. And I've seen on TikTok the colourful um, Maybelline Sky High mascaras. And now I have, ugh, I have tried the black one that went viral a few years ago. And I didn't rate it that much. 
but I'm always on the lookout for a colourful mascara and so I've got the burgundy which has really caught my eye, the pink and then blue. I love a blue mascara and I like the Colourpop um, colourful mascaras but they dry out really quickly so I'm going to be quite interested to see how long these last. So if you want to see me do a quick little video of trying these on I absolutely will. So these are 11 dollars uh, full price but if you have a super drugs card they are eight pounds or 8.99 plus they have three for two on so you know think of the savings <laughs> so I got that then I seen this and I thought this looked really cool this is cruelty free and vegan this is the studio London by super drug you do you setting miss and this kind of reminds me a little bit of like a uh, glow recipe and this was let me have a look uh, five pounds. Do I give it a shake? I don't know. But I'm quite interested to see what the mister is like. Is it like a continuous mister? No, it's a pumpy one. Oh, that's a nice mister. How spritz mommy face? Feels nice. I don't know if I feel like I'm any more dewy, but I like the way that that sits. And obviously you can sit on your desk and it looks quite cute as well. For five pounds. Why not? Okay, squeaky. Then, last thing from Super Drug, I got these from Collection because, like a magpie, I can't contain myself when I see sparkles. These are the Power Glitter Stair Glitter Eyeliners, and I think these would be quite a nice little because they do have more neutral colours, like a little kind of a dupe for maybe the Urban, Urban Decay liners. Oh, now these don't have a factory seal on, so this is going to be interesting. So I'll just. Oh, I'm going to layer that up a little bit. Oh wow, these are chunky, I love it. Oh, I love this one, this purple. This is the shade I Am Strong. And then the white one is I Got This. Oh my God, these are amazing. Oh my God, I don't know what house. I'll get another bit on there, why not? These are amazing. These are, they, they, if you want them like a chunky glitter, this is it. I don't know how well it's going to pick up the glitter, but these are beautiful. Oh, I'm going to mix the two together. And that's both of them mixed together. Oh, I love that. I'm going to find a cloth and wipe that off. But they were... Sorry, I'm getting some building work done downstairs. If you can hear banging and creaking and whatnot. They were... $4.99. So I thought that was a bit... A bit bit fun bit fun bit different and I'm just a sucker for sparkle I just wish you could see just how amazing they both I don't know why I was putting them like that but like how amazing they both are especially the purple oh, just so good anyway do you remember when collection was like cheap cheap yeah so anyway that's all like the makeup and stuff like that from super drug then I went over to Primark. Well, sure, since I've been wiggling it around. I got this cute little pink and orange kind of foldy down box for £3 and I've got it so I can put, well, have somewhere to store my makeup brushes a bit more <clears throat> cohesively and neatly, but I probably will end up just putting something else in it judging by the size of those containers but I just thought it was really nice and they had loads of different colours and different sizes and I thought for £3 that's pretty cool then I got some body care stuff so I got loads of well I got three different body scrubs I got the PS dragon fruit body scrub I was like mmm dragon fruit that was £4 for £4 for 300 grams I got the PS Bubbles Vanilla and Brown Sugar Exfoliating uh, Scrub and that was also £4 but that was £4 for 475 mils. and then last but not least I got the Peach and Papaya Kiss Exfoliating Cleanse uh, Body Scrub £4 for 450 grams. Um, I love the look of this one of course I managed to pick one with a dodgy lid and then I also got this because this looks really cool. This is the whipped shower foam. So I don't know, it's not an aerosol, so I wonder if it's got like a f, f one. So this will be quite interesting. So first off is the PS 
Dragon Fruit Exfoliating Cleanse. And it's got a little extra bit of plastic that's unnecessary. Ooh, now that smells nice. And it's kind of like, it's very, hang on. It's a very thick sugar. I don't know how scrubby that actually will be because of the, the thickness of the sugar. I'm trying to get it up so you can see. But it smells very fruity. I wouldn't say, I mean, I've had dragon fruit before, but I can't remember it smells. This smells quite like tropical and passion fruity. I'm gonna go quickly wash my hands. Um, but if I'm rubbing it between my hands, it's a very sparse scrub. Actually, the scrub that is there is quite, I'm getting all of my floor, is thick, but it's more like the, the liquid that I feel than the actual scrub. You can see on my hand. Right, let's just go quickly wash my hands. Okay, so I'm back. Still smells really strong. It kind of almost smells a bit like, like the body shop. Like one of like that pink grapefruit sort of a scent. Um, but it smells really good. When I rinsed it off, it didn't have a lather at all. So the ingredients for this are sodium chloride, aqua, uh, glycerin, xanthan gum, sodium hyaluronate, um, hyaluronic undatus fruit extract. I won't read every single bit, but you've got castor oil. Yeah, uh, and you've got some like dyes in there to make it red. I would say um, that, oh, it says this dragon, very small description, this dragon fruit body scrub with hyaluronic acid um, and fine purifying salt crystals helps soften and smooth as it gently buffs away dead skin, leaving skin feeling refreshed and smelling amazing. I think that they should have made that little bit of blurb bigger, which is a shame. And what's this? Is this ingredients in different languages? It is ingredients in different languages. But it is Leaping Bunny approved and it is vegan, which is lovely. Uh, I like the little pots. They look very familiar, the style of pot, do they not? Then we've got the Peach and Papaya Kiss. Ooh, this smells lovely. And then if you see this, this seems thicker. I don't know if it's like kind of dried out in an area because of the lid not being sealed 100%. That's all right. It feel, oh, oh my God. Let me get scoops of this up. This is the type of scrub I like. This texture feels amazing because it's like, it's thick, but it's gloopy. It reminds me like a lot like the soap and glory kind of like texture. You can smell the peach in it. What is this supposed to happen? It's papaya. I'm not normally a big papaya person. The scrub on this is far superior. It's finer. Um, and it feels more scrubby. Right, I'm gonna wash my hands again, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, this smells really lovely again. It's lingering on the skin. It is, again, kind of giving a, a body shop sort of a scent. It did again, and it didn't lather up either, um, but it felt more scrubby. I'm wondering if this one is, well, we'll double check what the ingredients are, but I'm wondering if this is more expensive because it's got hyaluronic acid in it. Oh no, this has hyaluronic acid in it. This peach and papaya body scrub with hyaluronic acid and purifying salt crystals helps soften and smooth skin as it gently buffs away dead skin. Oh, that sounds familiar as before. Uh, so you've got sodium chloride, water, glycerin, xanthan gun, sodium hyaluronate, um, and you've got chenolinus, sciences fruit extract, prunus, Persia, which is peach fruit extract. Then you've got hydrogenated castor oil um, fragrance, and then you've got like some preservatives, I think, and then some colors. Okay, so then next up is the vanilla and brown sugar. We'll open that up. Does it have a seal on it? I feel like the seals are unnecessary when you have got sticky taps holding them down. Just seems like an extra cost to Primark and an extra bit of stuff to go into landfill, if that makes sense. So this, I'm gonna scrape the remainder off here. This reminds me instantly, if you look at that, of the St. Ives style scrub, so with like the apricot kernels. Um, this smells lovely, it's um, very sweet vanilla. It almost smells like a vanilla yogurt. Nothing super artificial. Um, what does it say? 
Exfoliate and cleanse body. What's the ingredients though? I might have to, oh, aha, uh -huh, I can peel here. Well, actually, I'll peel here first before I stick my hand in. Okay. Where are the ingredients? Oh my God. Uh, directions. Massage on a damp skin and circuit motion, rinse well. Then you've got water, uh, walnut shell powder. Say I knew I could. Oh, oh for God's sake! Uh, uh, my horse going. Uh, glycerin. You've got. I mean, I don't know the. I don't xanthan gum. I don't know like the. What's the? Because obviously, like salt is sodium. What's the chemical name for sugar? Am I like stupid? This looks a lot more creamy. Yeah, this feels like your own, like a body lotion almost. I'm just gonna scoop a little bit more out. Yeah, this this definitely looks more like a Saint Ives, but this smells lovely. And the walnut feels great as well. Like it's the right amount of coarseness. I would just say because. I am greedy in that sense that maybe there should be some more walnut in there for even deeper scrub but I'm just rubbing that on here you can see it feels great I wonder if the brown sugar is just the smell the vanilla and brown sugar and that there's actually no sugar in here it smells really good right <laughs> I'm off to wash my hands again smells amazing but it also feels a lot more moisturizing this one felt a little bit stripping after using it and my hands felt a bit tight whereas this doesn't feel like that so i feel like texture and feel wise i prefer this but i like this in terms of the moisture this one i like the smell but i don't think the scrub is that great but i'm interested to see what they will be like now the final thing for three pounds fifty is this whip this foaming shower foam uh, oh my god why they gotta have like so much like stuff on it ridiculous oh my god <laughs> so I think it's going to it's not an aerosol because it's not metal yes it's one of these so let's give it a go oh Oh my god, that smells so good. Oh my god, that smells amazing. Mmm, it's like really juicy mangoes. That smells so good. That's very nostalgic. That also smells like quite body shop sort of a vibe. Mmm, that smells amazing. So for the last time, last time, I'm going to wash my hands. That was so good. Oh, I love that. I think that's actually my favorite thing out of the entire haul. And you get 250 mils, but I think that's gonna last for ages because when you're pumping the foam, I feel like you, you're gonna get a lot off. The lather was quite gentle as well. Um, mm, lovely. Ooh, I'm gonna be smelling great. Then I got this really cute candle. I didn't realize it was six pounds though. Um, but it says, I'd rather be a frog. Look how sweet it is. And it's peach and lily scented. It's, it smells really good. And I just really wanted it for like, <laughs> for the for the couple of these little bum. Look at these little bum. That's so cute. Um, I love frogs. I love frogs. They're so sweet. I do also have something for Alex down here, but I'm not gonna um, put that in there in case he edits this video. So yeah. No, none for you, Alex. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this haul. If you like this video, you can give it a little thumbs up. Uh, please let me know what you would get from Primark. Would you recommend anything? Do you share my pain of going in there because it's like hell on earth? Ooh, my hands are feeling a bit dry now. But that's right, I did just pump directly on the table um yeah so if you've got anything that you recommend from primark please let me know because it has been such a long time since i've been there um but yeah thank you so much for watching and uh, if you want to you can subscribe to the channel we're on our way to 4,000 subscribers um i'm doing a giveaway at 4,000, and i think i'm going to pop a couple of these in 
from Primark. I'll do like a little kind of, again, a short a slash reel of me trying these out so that you can see up close and personal. Um, but I think I might include one of them because I think they just smell amazing. They had other smells that weren't really my to my flavours, but you guys might like enjoy them. Um, YouTube will recommend some videos at the end. And of course, you can follow me on social media. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye.